Hey, it's Mike from Mag Plus. In this video, I'm going to show you to do something unique to the Mag Plus system called snapping. And that's the ability to control where the A layer stops when somebody's scrolling up the content. I'll show you what I mean in this sample here from PopSci. You can see now on the first page that A layer is scrolling up and down. I can turn it on and off the way I can with any A layer. Now watch what happens when I get to the second page. I'm scrolling up. Now this is long because you can have as much A layer as you want over any B layer. And when I get up far enough, I'm going to trigger that second slide that's going to come in and see where that A layer, that text there, automatically stopped in that particular spot. This is the way the designer wanted that page to appear. Now I can continue scrolling, but that's the default of where it's made to stop. So let me jump back out into InDesign and show you how we set this up. I'm going to show you on this really pretty ugly looking sample page here because it'll be easier to demonstrate the various behaviors that you can set when it comes to the snapping. So here I've got basic B layer, some text on the A layer. You can see I've set that now to appear kind of in that spot. So there is no snapping on page one. It just appears where I've set it. But on page two, I've made this text red so it's easier to see. You can see it's down a little bit on the page. Now this is where uh, I might want it to appear. But let me show you what happens if I just go ahead and turn the snapping off how this is going to work when I scroll between these two pages. So you can see now when I scroll up, that text is starting where I put it on the InDesign template. When I scroll up, there's that gap there. That's the space between the top of the page and where I've set that text box. You can see that just continues to free scroll. There is no snap point to it. Now watch what happens when I go back out and set this snap to outer top. There's three different settings on here, and I'll show you what the difference is. Let's jump back out into the iPad and show you what happens. I'm scrolling that layer up. Now watch what happens when that page 2 text comes onto screen and crosses that halfway point. That's what that line is showing. It jumps to the very top of the screen. And you'll see what happens now in the other orientation. It's going to jump to, again, the very top of that page and actually be cut off because it's outer top means the absolute outer top of the page. Now let me show you what inner top means. Let's jump back out into the sim. Now you can probably imagine what this does a little bit differently. When that text comes on, crosses that halfway point, it jumps to that inner top. See that on the template there? That's the inside of that always visible 768 pixel square you design for in the system. So it works really well in the horizontal because it snaps to that, it's still visible. Now the setting you might want to use the most is top. What that means is really relative top. So it knows whether it's in vertical or horizontal orientation and just snaps to the visible part of the top. You'll see what I mean here. There it is in horizontal, very top of the page. Now let me show you again in vertical. Across that halfway point, jumps to the visible top of the page. Now, often you're not going to want things to jump all the way to the top of the screen. You want to control that positioning the way we saw in this sample layout. So let me show you how we did this in InDesign to control that more precisely. There's my page one, you can see that A layer starting where I want it to start to appear when somebody first opens that page. Let me go to page two. So there's that box. Now that's right where I want it to appear, but if I just turned on snapping, it would jump all the way to the top of the page we, the way we just saw. So what we do instead is a little bit of a trick. We make sure that that A layer doesn't actually start there. We put a little hidden box, a little empty box that we set as a block type on the A layer in that upper left corner. So then the system believes that that's where the A layer starts and it snaps that to the top. So that and that text box are both part of the A layer. And you'll see what I mean here when we jump out into the iPad again. This is going to take a little bit longer to export because it's a slightly bigger file. The idea is that what will always snap to the top or whatever you set, inner or outer top, is the top of that A layer on that page. So whatever you set as the top of that A layer, in this case, that empty box will be what starts. So what you're really controlling is the distance between that empty box and where you want that other item to appear. So now you can see that text box in either orientation is stopping exactly where we want it to stop because that invisible box is what's snapping to the very top, in this case, the outer top of the screen. That's how snapping works. I know it's a little bit hard to wrap your head around, but the best way to really learn it is just to get in and start playing with it. Use that instant review to see what different effects have on the layout and make sure you get a result you're really happy with. 